Hi, a very quick video on what can the Wincheon community learn about last night's uh, fight between the YouTuber Jack Paul and Terry Wortley. Okay, um, I've been advocating for years that we should not only spar but train and spar against uh, people trying to um, make us open our guards with things with with uh, changes of position with uh, they're trying to confuse us and make us uh, do reactions that we uh, that we shouldn't be doing okay and there was a conversation the other day about that and someone asked uh, should the winching guy do it not necessarily but the best uh, but he should train against uh, that so that he doesn't um, uh, fall into the trap okay uh, and curiously, the, the, the best way to defend against those things is to go pressure forward, know your distance, know your angles, uh, trust your guard, etc. Et and the best way to trust your guard is for, to someone have someone else try to make you open it. OK, so um, I'm going to uh, explain a thing about the uh, fight last night, just very quickly. After uh, many, uh, many minutes, uh, the YouTuber here, the one in uh, the, the the white bloke, uh, he he uh, sold a, a hit that seemed to go to the uh, to the belly. Okay, so what he did was he he make the made the other person think he was going to hit on the stomach. He sold it very well, and the other person just dropped the hand trying to defend that. And that there was his mistake because a there wasn't a distance to drop that hand like that. Does it remind you of the cancer that some people do at the wrong distance and with the wrong timing? The best way to know your distance and timing in Gansau is to train against those type of uh, these types of of uh, feints and and uh, uh, and people think uh, he's going one way and change and changes of the uh, changing of the, the direction okay and as you see the person uh, Woodley dropped the hand up totally see it's, it's nearly a gun sound and the other person just had to make a slight body variation and the hit was uh, up and down you go to sleep okay so but this to many people seemed like a lucky hit it wasn't what happened before that if you if you see the fight and you go a bit uh, uh, a few minutes before that, Jake Paul did a, fight, uh, a body feint. Okay, he he put his, his his shoulder inwards as if he was going to hit downwards. Okay, and as you see from a normal guard that Woodley had, Woodley dropped the hand. So Jake must have thought, "Hey, this guy drops his hand," and then. You might think, well, then he hit the other, the, the final hit. No, there was another attempt to see if it had been luck or no, uh, or, a, or a wrong reaction from Woodley's part. And he tried it on the other hand side. And as you see, Woodley defended one side because he's used to uh, having counter strikes, but dropped the hand down again like a cancer. OK, again, in the wrong distance, that only works if if the other person goes inwards or if he goes inward, if it is an, it, an attack, not a defense. OK, so um, as you see from this angle, Woodley dropped the hand absolutely in the second attempt that uh, Jake did. OK, so Jake tried it once from one side, noted that the other guy, guy lowered his hand, tried it again on the other side, noted that the guy dropped his hand and then the third Time he did it, bang, off went the lights, okay? So, what can we learn about this, the Winchin community? A, train against feints, train, uh, train against people who are trying to hit you, spar, train uh, against people who do this sort of changes. Why? Because then you learn, you improve the your, your guard, you improve your distance control, you improve your angles, you learn not to overreact, to ex overextend your hands, you learn to keep tight and uh, uh, keep on pressuring, and you learn that the best way to uh, avoid these things is pressure him so that he doesn't sp have space to do those things, okay? So, curiously, 
uh, the 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 more people, the less people see that we do Wing Chun training against this type, sort of guys. The more Wing Chun we do, because the best defense against this thing is a Wing Chun sort of fight. Okay. Um, so, in my opinion, we can learn a to train against this this sort of fighters against feints and 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 changes of angles. B uh, not over strength, not no over overextend. Don't follow with the hands. Don't chase the hands. Okay. Uh, control your distance. Spar a lot to avoid this sort of thing, so that you improve. And another important thing, in my opinion, fighters IQ. This was not a lucky stroke as you, uh, a strike, as you, as you can see. This was something they had worked on. This was something he noted that the other guy made a mistake, and this was something he capitalized on. Okay, so it's not just you yourself going uh, forward and see uh, if if uh, you're lucky and if uh, if you hit it's thinking it's knowing having tactics it's being able to change those tactics is knowing hey this guy is making a mistake can i use that okay uh, and is if it happens what distance should i do it how always keep myself structured so if i do it and it fails i can keep on fighting etc etc I don't think the Winchin community will learn anything, but uh, at least this is my piece of uh, advice. Uh, and I have been doing it for years, and I like to train against this feint. And if someone bangs me in the head when I do that, it's well deserved. Okay.